School is going to be a lot different tomorrow for students at Eastern Technical High School. That's right. Grief and trauma counselors are going to be on hand after police say a school resource officer, Joseph Kamega, shot and killed himself in his office today. WMER 2 News Nadia Singh spoke with a psychologist about how parents can help their kids deal with something traumatic like this. It's not their fault that this happened. The, they shouldn't be feeling guilty. Dr. Cornelio Sando is the head of behavioral health at MedStar Franklin Square Hospital. He says in instances where young people deal with tragedy, like today's at Eastern Technical High School involving Officer Joseph Comegna, it's important for parents to step in. The message for the children who are trying to, to understand this is that um, even the strongest person can be uh, suffering from an illness. Comegna was a 21-year veteran of the Baltimore County Police Department. He spent four years at Eastern Tech as the school resource officer. Police say he was alone in his office when he shot himself. No students or staff were around. For somebody like, like him who uh, was there as an authority figure, uh, was there to protect them, I think it's, uh, it's a very, very traumatic. Um, so I understand if they are scared, if they don't understand what's going on. And that's where the parents um, come in and uh, trying to explain this. Sanders says dealing with the suicide of someone a student looks up to is even hard for adults to wrap their minds around. The message that needs to be uh, transmitted uh, to, to everybody is that uh, people might be seem, they might seem strong on the outside, but it's hard to know what's going on in that particular person's life. Police addressed the media today and expressed their sadness over the loss. No motive has been found. In Baltimore County, Nadia Singh, WMAR 2 News. What went wrong? That's the question on the minds of many tonight after a school resource officer takes his own life. It happened while class was in session at Eastern Technical High in Essex. WJC is live outside the high school. George Solis with the latest on the investigation and an exclusive interview with a student who says he spoke with the officer today. George. That's right, Vic. That student tells me he spoke with Officer Joe Kamenga about an hour before things took a dramatic turn here on campus. He, like many, says there were no warning signs or red flags leading up to the tragedy. A school resource officer in title, but to some students, he was much more. He was genuinely a, a kind person, and you wouldn't think there would be anything wrong. Eastern Tech High School sophomore Gillian Robles was in class Monday when word first spread that Officer Joseph Kamega had fatally shot himself in his office. Robles telling me the tragedy unfolded about an hour after he had a brief exchange with Kamega in the halls. He smiled at me. He was. He, he said his day was going good, and he asked me the same. Before 12:30, emergency crews raced to the high school, which was put on lockdown. Baltimore County Police later confirming Officer Kamenga was discovered by faculty after hearing what they believe was a single gunshot coming from his office in the school's basement. The officer was alone. Only one gun was found at the scene. Authorities say the gun used was his service weapon. Officials now investigating the case as a suicide, also using the school's security cameras to rule out any possible foul play. There was no one else in the officer at the time the gunshot occurred. Preliminarily, we believe that it is a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was quickly rushed to nearby MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. What was the reaction around campus among students, teachers, faculty? Everyone was shocked because you wouldn't expect that. It was as if the record skipped. Kamenga was a 21-year veteran of the force, having spent 12 years as a school resource officer, four of those years working at Eastern Tech. The focus now shifting in figuring out what, if anything, sparked such an unexpected tragedy. Now, police say Officer Kamenga was wearing a body camera, but it was not activated at the time. A school will reopen tomorrow at its normal time with crisis counselors on hand for anyone that needs them. Live in Essex tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.